This is the story of a valley in the middle of Pennsylvania. A valley whose population fell back to zero twice in the past 200 years. This is the story of Black Lake Valley, where life has been shaped by its natural resources, game, timber, coal. They all fueled the valley, but they all got exhausted. This is the middle of the Allegheny Forest, where natural resources drew explorers to settle. In the Black Creek Valley, the forest grows tall and fast, and the coal can be dug from the ground with bare hands. The Black Lick Creek flows exuberant among profitable hardwoods, white pine, hemlock, and tanning bark. 200 years ago, settlers built the first iron furnaces to make steel from ore and charcoal. Hardwood was turned into charcoal to feed the hungry furnaces. Each one of them swallowed one acre of hardwood forest every single day, until it was all gone. Eventually, the forest thinned away to shrubs. Settlers had to move out of the valley, and the whole area grew silent for half a century, to let time for the nature to breathe and regrow. And then, settlers moved back into the valley and the cycle repeated, stronger, faster, accelerated by the railroad. The railroad, as if by magic, transformed the valley into live, hustling communities and busy hives of industry. So mills were created to turn the new, regrown giant trees of the forest into lumber. Many coal mines were opened. New towns and villages sprang up, as if by the magician wand to house and care for the many workmen and artisans who found employment among the inhospitable hills. Thousands of tons of coal were being shipped from this prosperous valley, the people were happy and contented, and no more promising coal region existed in the whole Pennsylvania. But history told a different tale. The mines dried up or were forced to close by environmental regulation. The railroad was torn down and the towns crumbled. Only piles of coal refuse now lie on the grounds. The once bustling communities of Verum, Lackawanna, Claghorn were all abandoned. They are now ghost towns, just signs along the trail. The ghost town rail trail now runs on the old railroad path between the village of Black Creek and Ebsburg where the steam train once old coal, now bikes and strollers hold cyclists and kids, but the people are happy again. If we look at the history of the Black Lake Valley, but also of the nation as a whole, it has been marked by the slow exhausting of resources, first by hunting, the first men in their coonskin cup had driven away the larger game. Their sons had cut the virgin forest for hardwood, and the next two generations had worn out the arable soil and drained empty the coal mines. The country was fed with minerals, but the coal in time would be exhausted. Today, all that remains of the cities in the Black Lick Valley are just pile after pile of coal waste. But I have no fear of what will come the hills had already shown a power of recuperation. The trees are creeping back where fire had raged. The fields are resting. The people too find other resources inevitably. Today the old railroads have been dismantled and transformed into a gorgeous 35 mile trail, the Ghost Town Trail. The trail attracts 100,000 visitors per year. The valley has never been so prosperous its coal have been exhausted, but its nature is strong, its history rich, its people forceful.